Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. When I was in school, I had to carry around a backpack with all of my books, and it sucked because those books were heavy. And I, whether I was in grade school or high school, college, uh, I was tethered to these pages. And more frustrating than anything, beyond the weight, uh, and I would say the uh, d destruction of my spinal column, uh, was not being able to find information easily in printed materials. So we've uh, written up an article on LockerGnome.com, as we are prone to do every day. Books versus ebooks, and I, you know, I've got my thoughts on the matter. Uh, and we've been covering this in, uh, I would say, recent days because I believe that the printed book is—it's not dead yet. But I would say, as far as uh, most books are concerned, uh, I think ebooks are, are kind of the way to go, especially with reference materials. I could never imagine buying uh, a, a, an, a, an encyclopedia. <laughs> oh my God, wow, do people still do that? Or even a dictionary or, or a thesaurus. If I need to find something quickly, I'm not going to refer to a printed volume of text. I'm going to search for it. And then, you know, beyond. The text, think about the illustrations. You know, being able to zoom in on a map and, and interact with it dynamically, this is something you can do in ebooks that you just can't do in the printed volume. I, uh, I know we're not there yet uh, today, uh, but maybe five, ten years from now, printed books, at least as far as school books are concerned, uh, will become ebooks. And I think that's. Uh, strong possibility. I received an email from a professor who was not a fan of the iPad and it turns out that his school is now deploying iPads and now he loves them because of how easy uh, iPads are to use and how portable it makes the uh, text. And I think that's where ebooks have it over books. You know, if you gave me a choice between a printed book or an ebook, uh, nine times out of ten, I'm going to take that ebook. Uh, it looks like Bauer Teach 123 says, I favor uh, or oh, I have four of my high school ebooks on, on ebooks. So he's got books on ebooks. I love it, but it's hard to switch from one ebook to another ebook without two screens. Mm, that is true. Not that we'd want to carry around 15 screens. Uh, or, you know, it would be nice to be able to compare pages potentially or bookmark between one and another and snap back to them uh, kind of in a, a sort of history. That may make a pretty uh, nice ebook reader enhancement. Chris, what do you think about having tablets like Kindle in school replacing textbooks in class? It asks Uzumaki 777Z. Kind of already stated my opinion, but uh, I, I'm all for it. The money you save from ebooks, says the Comp Geek 101. True, uh, because there's no cost of replication. Think about all those trees we could potentially save. In addition to reading them, traditional books are good for decorating, says Imbalance by Design. That is true. And uh, in our library, uh, because I have just a small amount of OCD. Uh, I've organized uh, the books that I have, and I, I don't, I've bought maybe a couple of them. Most of them are sent to me for, for a review, or sometimes my name gets printed up and they send me a, a copy, a complimentary copy. They are in color order. So I've got like white books, and then I got the black books, and then I got the red books, and the blue books. Hmm. I still like books. The fell is still the best, or the feel is still the best. And more th trees are cut down to run the power to your computers, laptops, iPad, and so on. Okay, I'm not exactly sure where you're going with the comment, but theoretically you can save energy by going with ebooks. Uh, Scottish Education still uses XP. I doubt we will have tablets anytime soon, says Scottish Tech Kid 98. Oh. And if they destroy their Kindles, well, what's on them? Not exactly sure. Sometimes when I'm reading the comments on the YouTube live chat box from these live videos, I don't catch the full comment, but I do my best to translate. Old books smell like vomit, says Vasquez, 123, 100. Mm. And, uh, cool Joss, 100, says ebooks are cheap, fast, and I love it. Will the rich schools have iPads and less funded schools have cheap ebook readers? Asks Paulette Films. Uh, you know, there may be a digital divide happening there. Uh, you know, I, I would hope that one day, at some point in the future, we would be more like a Star Trek society. Uh, where education was prime and uh, it didn't matter how much money you had 
uh, everybody could truly get an equal education. Maybe ebooks will bring us closer to that utopia. We shall see. So your thoughts, books versus ebooks, take a look at our list on lockernome.com. The article is linked in the description. Feel free to leave your comment here as you're watching the video or wherever you're reading the page. And if you like either the video or the article, please share it.